though Dragon Ball Z Sparking Zero comes out in October, I'm quite sure. Let me just check. Sparking Zero. It comes out in October, same month as Call of Duty. I think it comes out like two weeks after. And I basically just want to talk about whether Sparking Zero might be the next go to Dragon Ball Z. There's been a lot of good Dragon Ball Z's over the years. A lot of if you want as well. AK stuff like fucking Ultimate Denkaichi, AK Rock Paper Scissors Rock Paper Scissors Simulator. But throughout all throughout all that, there's usually like one one like one game that's always at the top of people's list. Like it's pretty rare for it not to be. And that is Budokai Tenkaichi 3. Mostly because of just how many characters there were, especially at that time. It basically had every character that was out when the game was actually released. It literally had everyone, all their forms, everything. So many different costumes, even if like the story wasn't the best. But I mean, if you're playing a Dragon Ball game, you ain't really there for story. You're there for beating people up, you know? You want to beat people up, give them the middens. And you just want to face your friends, maybe play some World Tournament co-op. Anywho. I'm gonna be doing a lot of different, uh, a couple of different subjects, not a lot. Uh, the first one is just gonna be like my top three or five Dragon Ball games, and like you guys can all put your comments and all your like uh, lists and down in the comments as well. I'm just quickly go through like some things, like my top three, because top five is kind of hard. Uh, top three ten, uh, well, top three Dragon Ball games. I think. I don't know about order. I'll tell you which ones. Um, obviously, one of them is Budokai, uh, Budokai 3. Not Budokai Tenkaichi 3. Budokai 3. I always played that as a kid. It's just memorable. Uh, Dragon Ball Raging Blast 2. I mean, the game's just goaded in my opinion. It's just, it, it, I just, I love the combat. I remember like always like playing the demo on Xbox because, you know, I couldn't afford it. <laughs> depression um and i think my third is um super dragon ball z which i don't think people really played it but if you guys never played it you guys should have is it called super dragon ball z i'm pretty sure it's super dragon ball z yep super dragon ball z that's my third so i think i got the order i think third is super dragon ball z Second is Dragon Ball, uh, Dragon Ball Raging Blast 2, and then my first is uh, Dragon Ball Budokai 3. That's my top three. A lot of people, you know, have like their own opinions about that, but that's my top three. It's quite, you know, it's a bit different since, you know, most people haven't even probably played Super Dragon Ball Z, let alone put in their top three or maybe even five uh, Dragon Ball games, but I, I, I love it. I mean, also Raging Blast. I love how many characters out there are. I just I loved how it looked. I just loved everything about it. I don't know what to say, bro. It's, it should go to Dragon Ball Budokai 3, bro. I played that game consistently. I played that game so much. If there was like, if Steam was around or like anything that could track how many hours were put into that game, it would be thousands. And on that topic as well, we're gonna, we're gonna, we, 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 <laughs> pretty sure on our little like dragon ball um game quest that we're doing starting with dragon ball raging blast i'm pr i think i'm gonna play i think i'm gonna play it after raging blast 2 and then maybe go into burst limit i don't really know what i'm gonna do but there's like there's so much there's so much memories in budokai 3 i, I i'm gonna try to like not talk about it too much until i actually get to the actual game but back to Sparking Zero. Uh, I really, I'm really like hopeful about this game. I'm really, I'm really hopeful. Like uh, going back to like the Tenkaichi, because I wasn't really much of a, not like a f fighters fan, just because it's too like it's mostly 2D and you know? I'm not really into 2D fighters. Like I don't play Street Fighter and all that Capcom. The only games, the fighting games I really play are kind of like three, more like 3D games. Even like Tekken, technically, it's like 2D and a half because like you can 
go into different dimensions than just 2D, but you know, not constantly. You're not you're you're not caught you know you're not constantly in the 3D plane, so it's, it's like 2D and a half. But yeah, I, I just I really hope they do well with this game. With the gameplay, I've seen the what ifs as well. They need what ifs and Dragon Ball to spice the story up because you know playing through the same story gets kind of boring. I mean, I don't I don't play Dragon Ball Z Kakarot because it looked fun, but at the same time, it's just kind of the same thing. Dragon Ball Z's universe I liked. But like after a while like when 2 came out I wasn't as interested because they were kind of similar I mean more characters and all that but it wasn't really my thing the fighters came out was my thing than the um what was the game called the one where like um you try to run away from like Frieza, Sal and all the main villains like Dragon Ball Seekers or something that was my thing as well where you basically just play hide and seek against the main villains it wasn't my thing either I just like true just true hands where I just I just love I just love fucking just straight up fighting Dragon Ball games and it's good to finally come back to like a you know a series that it's just straight hands basically I hope there's I mean there's a lot of features I want in the game obviously online play co-op I want you know world tournament there's what else in the game I need good character selection but I, I'm not gonna bro, I swear they better not do that stupid ass like character thing where like instead of actually adding characters they they just fill out fill out like the character roster with different like um forms of characters like it's just like goku standard and it has the super saiyan one two three four don't do all that shit bro just make it one and actually just fill out the roster do it like you did Bud budokai tenkaichi 3 don't make the fourth game like a disgrace to the third one it's gonna be sad if like i go into the game i go to pick a character and like 60 to 70 percent of the roster is literally just forms of like the same people it's gonna be irritating it's just gonna piss me off don't do that don't do that i can't wait for online play as well just online hopefully like you can do tournaments and all that custom matches you know all the hopefully like stuff like the supers are like um because I mean you don't need the supers to be the most you know mind-blowing thing but I just want them to put a bit of like cinematic into them maybe even finishes stuff like that I can't wait to see how the forms work out I mean I've seen the gameplay but I mean you can't always be you can't be tricked by the trailers always because it's not always going to be exactly how trailers portray the game so you just, you just kind of, um, it might be a bit stupid just to believe that the creators are actually going to make everything like the trailer. Though I hope it is, because the game looks beautiful. That's also another thing as well. Like, going back to the old game, Special Budokai Tenkaichi 3, on an original PS2, you can definitely see the age. I know people sometimes say that, oh, like, it, lo it still looks really good, but, like, in my opinion, I'm just like, nah, it's like, I know some other games on, on PS2 that look better than this, like, it was super pixely. Like, it's super pixely, well, obviously on my, like, um, emulator, on uh, my PC, it looks a lot better because I can upgrade, like, the graphics to 1080 and 4K looks better. But on the actual native PS2, bruv, it's like 360p, like, I can't see this shit. I'm just really hoping they don't scuff this. Because this could be the next go to Dragon Ball Z. This could be the go. It just needs to add. It just needs to not be stingy. Like, it, I mean, bro. I mean, all companies nowadays are just looking for cash grabs. But I'm really hoping that they don't just go for an easy cash grab. Try to actually, like, max out the character. Um, You know, the characters. Even if it comes in DLC. But if it does. If a lot of characters do come in DLC. They need to make sure they release them in like a timely manner, timely manner, timely manner, because the game's just like the hype for the characters is not going to be hype anymore if they just do like what Mortal Kombat did, where they stretch out like the characters months apart. Bro, that's boring. That's literally boring. Like, obviously I'd rather just have all the whole cast at the beginning of the game, but game companies nowadays 
you know, help fork up their ass and they don't want to do that. They want to make fucking even more money that they're already making. I mean, it's annoying, but it is what it is. But just like, please make the main cast the game actually big. Like, make it span Dragon Ball, Dragon Ball Z, Dragon Ball Super. What I also wish they had was, um, some of like the characters that we haven't seen like Moro, Gas and all that but they're not going to have that unless they're in you know actual um in a movie or some shit in a movie or just the anime but the Dragon Ball Super anime hasn't come back but yeah I think that's all I'm going to ramble about for now I'm definitely going to come back to this topic but you know I'm rambling for too long so hope you guys enjoyed that you know make sure to have a good rest of your day hope you're excited for Swapping Zero because it comes out in like three four months and uh yeah peace